if living in faithful truth John 8 and 32 says and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free power to lift you up power to set you free we need a power lift the truth will set you free living in faithful truth receive the word you need power of the gospel ministries preach the word indeed we here to help each other witness the truth and protect each other so we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other so let your worship cry let your praise out now let the truth up in you release that holy shout Great and great and great in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Reverend Red, and with me over here, breaking her neck to get to the microphone, is the wonderful and the lovely Lady Crystal. And we are here excited and ready for another great, excited, powerful, energy filled show, spirit filled show, filled with the anointing, the love, and the spirit of the Lord. Man, I used to send, I got this bio, and I've been reading through it, and I'm like, I'm not done reading yet. So you know we got a guest that's on fire on tonight. I tell everybody, tell Jerry, 45 minutes ain't going to be enough for this one. Mm -mm. That's going to be a great show. It is going to be a great show with a lot of information, a lot of nuggets, and another love that's coming through. How you doing, Lady K? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. You're doing good. I yes. see you smiling and yes. happy and dancing. Y'all ought to see her right now. Okay, okay, I got you. Well, let me get to the word of prayer, and then let me ask you and let you just open up and tell the people what's going on before we get to our guest all right how all about right. that sounds great let us pray heavenly father we come we give you thanks we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor father god father god we say forgive us right now father god in the name of jesus we ask for forgiveness right now father god in the name of jesus father god for all of our sins words actions ways and deeds father god father god we ask that you cleanse our hearts minds and souls father god father god we pray for your blessing on the positive power 20 one family, Father God, that every show, every day, every um, podcast, Father God, will be blessed, Father God, will be anointed, your hands, your spirit will be there right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, Father God, we pray for our producer, Jerry Royce, Father God, we pray that you would bless him, bless his family, Father God, bless his vision, Father God, what you've given him, Father God, to carry out this extremely blessed task, Father God, that he's doing, Heavenly Father. Father God, bless our guest on tonight, Father God. Touch her, Father God. Give her the words to say, to encourage, to uplift the nuggets, the diamonds to drop on tonight's show. That would be a blessing to our listening audience. And speaking of our listening audience, bless our listening audience right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Give them an ear to hear, Father God. Give them a mind to, to receive right now, Father God, a heart to believe and the will to achieve, Father God, whatever you have for them to do. So, Father God, we thank you and we bless you. But before I close, Father God, thank you for my beautiful partner in crime. Thank you for my wife, Father God. Thank you for my Bonnie, to my Clyde, Father God. But thank you, thank you, Father God, for all that you have given me with her, Father God, and through her. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray. We say amen, amen, and... Amen again. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Welcome, Praise welcome, the Lord. welcome. If you... Um, have been blessed by Power Lift, mm -hmm. then we encourage, reach out um, to us on social media. Say, hey, Reverend Red and Lady K, because we know that you have um, uh, you have been enjoying some of Reverend Red's little funny <laughs> moments, uh, all that he does for to keep us laughing. So, um be encouraged. We are encouraged um, by your connections with us. So please don't hesitate hesitate to reach out. Now, Reverend Red, you know, mm -hmm. you asked me, what have I been doing? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Because mm -hmm. you're and always doing something. Exactly. <laughs> uh, absolutely. You're always I doing something. I love that fact. Uh-huh. You, you're, um, not, you're, not, you're not lazy. You're right. You're always mm -hmm. doing something. <laughs> exactly. So guess what I'm doing? this amazing weekend. Guess yeah. what's new? I know you're leaving me, but anyway, go ahead. I'll okay, go well, you know, I just want to say, I, I just like everybody to lean in mm -hmm. to um, your mic, to your to your your um, radio, your phone, your iPad, your, and I need you to lean in, and I need you to say, 
all the preacher's wives. Oh, Say it again, preacher. all of the preacher's wives. The preacher's well, wives. I am part of an anthology, which is a group of women, a book with a group of women that are preacher's wives. Okay. And we are having a gathering this weekend in Dallas, Texas. We are coming together for a weekend of rejoicing and sharing and praying and um, getting our message out. Now, you can go to allthepreacherswives.com. We have some pre-interview um, videos out there. And if you want to start getting the pre-order copies, you can go to All the Preacher's Wives, put in Team Crystal so that I will get credit and order the book. I'm telling you, this is going to be a phenomenal move of God. Support these amazing women of God. This book is not to bash church or to bash pastors, but this book is definitely to encourage the first ladies. Um, if you don't know, the first ladies operate in a sisterhood of silence. Let me tell you about this book. It says, all the Preacher's Wives is an anthology featuring real-life stories of 20 amazing women of God, their lives as wives of preachers. The book illustrates an image of how lonely and exciting a life can be as a pastor's wife. The challenge is many can only see these women as the beautiful, styled, often soft-spoken, and respectful first ladies. All the Preacher's Wives demonstrates how these women of God face the same issues that all other marriages face. The book will be available on Amazon, and it's also available on allthepreacherswives.com, allthepreacherswives.com. So I encourage y'all, get the book, support these women, and if you have a first lady, buy her one. She will love you for it. At, buy it for your pastor. Share it with your congregation and support. I'm one of the 20. Support the 20 amazing women of God. So that's my exciting announcement. You know, what you think? I, I love it. You love it? You, love think it. it? you think it's a great idea? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that is super great. That is, that is, that is happening. You know, I just... I, I just, you know, think that because of um, things that people don't know, that's like the, I guess what they say, you know, the NBA wives and all that. A lot of people don't know what, what people go through, that what, what um, preacher's wife go through. And um, I don't know, I guess um, preacher's wife husband go through too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You know, so I just thank the Lord for my wife, amen, and, and putting up with me for 26 years and putting up with members and, all that she has put up with over all these years, I just thank her for that. You know, I just know that God is, is always good, always a blessing. It's always good to, to learn and to read something that you have no idea about and don't know the idea. You know, some of my best things that I learn is when I watch YouTube and I learn stories and stuff, and I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were going through that, and that was a warfare, that was a battle. But there's a lot of inner warfare, especially in the church, in marriage, um, that a lot of people just think, wow, the pastors look good every day. I mean, every Sunday, the, the the first lady look amazing every Sunday, but never know the hurt, the pain, or whatever they're going through. So this is a absolute great venture that you're doing. You know, but um, the, the one thing about um, a church, there is so many things in there. There's so many inner workings when it comes to the body of Christ. There's, you know, we can go to deacon's wife, or we can flip it around. We can say the the husband of of, of a, like I I I told my wife and then um, and her publicist, I need to write the book being the the husband of a millionaire. You know, if my wife gets to be millionaire standard value, you got to be the husband of a millionaire. So there's so many different aspects to how you look at things, how you see things, and to have it written and, and from the person that's actually going through it. I don't, I don't like a book when somebody writes and I said, well, I think from my point of view, I think a preacher's wife is doing this or going through this or going through that. And that don't have a lot of validity to it. But 
when the person that's actually in that position is going through and is dealing with stuff and they put it on paper, you know, that's that's a good read right there. That's something I would want to read about and a lot of us need to read about. Amen. Because just being a wife alone is tough. Yes. <laughs> that part is tough. Yes. Uh, and the sacrifice you have to give um, as far as you to the members, mm -hmm. you know, and all that and, and, and sharing your husband with, uh, with everybody that need to um, that's always calling Indeed. for help in need. Exactly. You said it right. In need. So, you know, I just thank God. I just thank God for you and all that, that you do, you know, so, um, so that's a, that's a very good, that's a very good book. I can understand from different point of views, mm -hmm. different things. And so, and this week, can y'all getting together and all that? Yes, this weekend we're getting together. So this will be the first time that we are meeting each other. Okay. So that's exciting. This will be the first time that we'll, we'll be able to actually extensively talk in private. Okay. Um, so stop, 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 stop. I'm already blessed by this there. You know, mm -hmm. and I and I tell you why, because a lot of time when people write something, they all get together and they like scheme up a whole bunch of stuff. That's mm -hmm. why you said you're not butchering pastors or nothing mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But the fact that y'all already wrote y'all stories before y'all yes. even met, yes. that right there that caught my attention. Because yes. a lot of times you, you get together and oh yeah, that he, you, did this, you this, did this, you did that, right. say that, and you did this, and okay, I'm gonna say that to my book and my part. You basically have shared your experience individually, right? You know, in and, private, uh, on in paper. private, right? And then put in the book. Then y'all come together, right? We don't to know just each celebrate. other. Okay, that's great. I, I like. It's mm -hmm. kind of like Powerlift when we meet right. people when they we come on air. Most of our guests we don't right. know, and we are meeting mm -hmm. them just like everybody else is right. meeting them for the right. first time, and that may, what makes the show exciting is there's no pre-written question or right, you know right. right now this i'm gonna ask you this or right, you want to say this right, no. well don't ask me that and all that so no. you know that's the way we are but um yes and so we're gonna come together uh, we'll, we're gonna do a video interview together okay. um as a group of 20 women and so we'll be staying in one house we have a prayer walk s scheduled um we have a chef that will be at the house with wait, us wait, did you say prayer walk a prayer walk, yes. Okay, that's where you go to the mountain? Yes. And you see the mountain lions? <laughs> We're not seeing <laughs> We'll be able to shut the mountain mm -hmm. lion mountain mountain mm -hmm. mountain mountain because we are anointed. My wife going to the mountain. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I'm glad I wasn't there because I'd be in the house looking out the window. <laughs> I don't do woods. And then we'll we'll end uh, Sunday morning. Well, we'll have Sunday morning service at the Potter's house. Um and then we will end with lunch and um, fly back or drive back to our homes. And so we are hoping that we are hoping that we will um, have new lifelong friends, a new lifelong sisterhood. So Amen. if y'all are interested in getting the book, please, again, go to either crystalhenry.net and you can order it from me. Or go to allthepreacherswives.com. Definitely get the book. Be on the lookout for more. And check us out on YouTube. Subscribe and share. Allthepreacherswives.com. And again, for your coaching needs, go to crystalhenry.net. So I'm excited. We have our guests here. Let me go ahead and read um, a little bit about her part of part of her bio because I'm excited we are going to uh, experience a an, um, great anointed woman of God on tonight. Our guest is a powerhouse. She is a confident Christian woman coach. She's a business coach, a master business builder, kingdompreneur, marketplace ministry expert. She is um, the CEO of Divine Connection Network Association. She is an Amazon um, best-selling author of an anthology called Confident Women Rise. She's an editor-in-chief of Unlock What's Inside You ma magazine. She's confident. She's a confident incubator podcast host and a host of international radio broadcast, All Things Business, World Tour Chat. I want to introduce to some 
and present to others none other than Dr. Doreen Letsom Reed. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much, Coach Crystal. Thank you. Thank you, Powerlift, for having me. Thank you so much for this opportunity to just connect with you from around the world. This is amazing. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, good to have you. I'm Reverend Red, and I'm just so happy to have you and honored to have you. I was reading your bio, and I was like, I have to put it down and pick it up tomorrow because you've accomplished so much. I don't know where to start with you. Well, I'm trying to keep up with you, Rev. Come on now. I'm, I'm on roller skates trying to keep up with you and Crystal, so I don't know. I, I, I was trying to keep up with y'all at this point. <laughs> but 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 no, we we are honored to have you. We are definitely honored to have you. And um, I we're going to go right into the meat of something here because I was reading your bio and there's something that just caught my attention, and that's the name of your podcast. You know, because there's so many things I was reading and I and I looked the name and I said, a confident incubator. Mm -hmm. That that just I, I first of all. Yes. First of all, the, the the title, the name. How, where did that come from, and and how did you? I mean, I'm losing. I, I mean, it's still blowing my mind. Like, who who would think of that? Mm -hmm. First of all, let, let me ask about the name. How did you, how did how did you get the name? And tell me what's the gist. What are you trying to bring across With when you podcast. when that when yeah. that podcast? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Reverend Henry, for asking that question. But we both know the answer to this. And the ladies and gentlemen listening knows the answer to where every good idea comes from, mm -hmm. where every strategy comes from. You know, we've been given power to get wealth. And that wealth is also knowledge, insight, witty inventions. And so I've been working for the ultimate businessman, Jesus Christ, for a very long, long time. Amen. And everything that I know. And I have an extremely smart, wise, witty, all-knowing master coach, and his name is the Holy Ghost. And so uh, with these two individuals by my side, you know, it's, I'm unstoppable at this point, right? Because Amen. <laughs> and, Amen. And the great thing about it, ladies and gentlemen, he's always hiring. He never fires. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> a bit of it. The benefits, the 401k, all, the, the the ultimate benefits, you will have them, and then 10 times X the value. So, Amen. yeah, absolutely, um, you know, here in my office some some uh, about two or three years ago, I was studying and just preparing and seeking uh, as we are, you know, Coach Crystal and I have been taught to do by our coaches, Dr. Shirley Clark, the soaking part. I, you know, I didn't know it was called soaking until I met her, but mm -hmm. I've been soaking for, you know, years and didn't really know I was soaking. So those opportunities where you're in the boardroom specifically for your business, you know, I'm not praying for my husband at that moment. I'm not praying for my four children. I'm not praying for my church family. I'm going into the ultimate businessman uh, his boardroom for strategies concerning my business, concerning how to build it, to, concerning how to brand it, concerning what is my specific mission, what is my specific message. And so he talked to me about Confident Woman Incubator. So we know Incubator is a safe place to grow. Mm -hmm. It's a safe, secure place to grow. And many women that are uh, Christian women, especially as a coach, because we as coaches are in a high position of leadership. Now, I'm coming from coaching in a different perspective because I am a kingdom preneur. So I'm not an entrepreneur because I don't work for myself. I work for the ultimate businessman. He calls all the shots. I'm just here along for the ride. So, therefore, my perspective concerning business is different. And when you are as a kingdompreneur, as a Christian woman in business with that type of mindset and understanding exactly what you're called to do in marketplace ministry, it's very difficult to really have an environment that is a safe place for you to express yourself, for you to ask questions that you would not normally ask in a traditional setting. So Confident Woman Incubator Podcast, Confident Woman Incubator Clubhouse, my platforms are designed for us as 
confident Christian women that are in business, that are in that are in the leadership role specifically and exclusively for coaches to be able to come in an environment where we can ask questions that are on our minds. How okay. are you getting building your client list? How are you packaging? How are you pricing? Uh, how are you pricing? You know, um, I feel that you know I'm you know I feel that I'm getting nervous because I'm getting ready to launch this. Should I even be nervous because I am a coach? You know, and being able to ask those questions that we would that I find that women normally would not ask unless they come into the Confident Women Incubator uh, podcast setting or Confident Incubator Clubhouse setting, and having that opportunity to have those candid conversations. Reverend Henry is very important. It's important to the ultimate businessman because that's what he did with his 12 disciples. And if you can just imagine him and just picture him, we know he's Lord and Savior. But for just a moment, let's just talk, just let's talk about him as the ultimate businessman. He had a lot of business strategy sessions with his 12. And then, of course, he had the, the, the exclusive coaching sessions with Peter, J- James, and John. Yes, you know that yes. Three were very intimate with him. He had exclusive coaching sessions with them where he would uh, give them some more insight because they were hungry. And so these women that come into Confident Woman Incubator, uh, you know, our podcast and our clubhouse, they're like, look, I don't care. I'm just hungry. I need to know how to do this. I'm feeling this. I'm, I'm dealing with this. They have a hunger to be in position and condition to serve. Let me say that again. Right. They have <laughs> hunger. Are you are you hungry today? Are you thirsting today? That's a bare minimum requirement for this level of coaching. So you have to understand that coaching is not something that we do. We, we're not just here talking to you on a Zoom for 30 minutes. No, ma'am. Let me let me help you. This is a mantle. This is a mandate. We have been commissioned by the ultimate businessman to serve you. And if we're not serving you right, we need to sit down. Amen. You know, you're not that, serving right. You got to sit down. That that is that is that is real. That 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 is that is so real. And, and you know, that's that's really that covers so much. Because let me share something with you. The same thing goes for like if you're a preacher or a pastor. Mm-hmm. If you're not coaching right, the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you got the coaching in life like you guys do, and even the, even even every preacher. That's the same thing. And if you're not doing the right thing according to the business plan and the businessman, yes, you do need to sit down. You know, and so I, I definitely agree with that. And I thank God for the fire and the energy that you bring with that. And I'm telling you right now, if I was listening, okay, and I'm female out there need coaching, just the tone of your voice and the confidence that you bring, where do I sign up? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Reverend Henry... This is very serious, and I and I know Coach Crystal can attest to this. It's, mm-hmm. we, we have to understand what our what and cl- let me let me back up. We have to clarify our specific mission, and what's happening is we're not in position or condition to really serve those in the marketplace. We're saying that we're coaching, but we're not coaching. We're saying mm-hmm. that we're leading, but we're bleeding. We're saying that we're we are Christians and we and we are acting more like the world and coaching more like the world and pointing people to the world instead of to the ultimate businessman. Let me help you. Your coaching program can do absolutely no transformation. Absolutely mm-hmm. none. I don't okay. care how good your coaching program is, and I'm even though they're always tight, but it's right, and I'm called to proclaim the gospel. It, mm. that is, it, it's not really about how wonderful you are because guess what? You're limited. You are a human being in a human body, and guess what? At the end of the day, we're all going to have to stand on that great day where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord and that he is the ultimate businessman and that he knows all and that he is all. So if we're Amen. not pointing to him, your coaching program is is literally of no value because it can be of value temporarily, but is it of value eternally? Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, I love that. Yes. Because when I have my coaching sessions, um, even before, you know, we open up for this pod, podcast or when I'm opening up in Clubhouse, I always begin with prayer and I always end with prayer. 
And I always ask God to, you know, be in that room, in that space, in that atmosphere, because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. So, you know, not only are you a coach and you're a podcaster, tell us about your books, because you are a three-time, and probably more than that by now, Amazon <laughs> bestseller. <laughs> Well, this is just a great conversation. I appreciate these questions. And absolutely, um, well, you know this about me, Coach Crystal. Um, you know my story that mm -hmm. no human person has ever taught me how to read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. No human person has ever taught me how to read. And, mm -hmm. and you're probably saying, now, Dr. Reed, how is that possible? Did you teach yourself how to read? No, ma'am. No, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this all started, and you're asking me about the book. So I have to mm -hmm. tell you and go back to bring you to where I am now. Yes. In the telling of the books, you have to understand that you're talking to a little girl that at five years old in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, which is located in Charleston, South Carolina, I was told by my teacher and her assistant that I – could not read and would not read, and my mm. face literally shoved into the corner. Mm. Now, mind I'm just five, and you probably mm -hmm. say, well, my, your mama went up there, and she did, she set them straight. No, because my mom and dad was trying to kill me at that time. Mm. I was mm. in mm -hmm. a, an abusive home. I lived in an abusive home um, from five until I left at 16. And so uh, from 13 to 16, I actually tried to commit suicide multiple times. And so at five years old, mm. I would have to sit outside Coach Crystal for hours. I was not allowed into the house. Mm. And this is where I began to just pay attention to, to nature. And mm -hmm. this is where the poetry gift started coming out of me. God gave me a gift of poetry. And in the midst of me speaking this poetry before I could read, I would literally be able to recite poetry just out of my belly. You know, out of your belly mm -hmm. shall flow living waters. At that time, I didn't know what that meant, but now I do. Mm -hmm. You're right. And so God gave me a gift of, of poetic, of the poetic. And so in that, when I was literally five years old, God spoke to me, and I remember it like it was yesterday, and I know it was God. I was not in a church environment. I was not mm -hmm. born again. Mm -hmm. You're trying to kill me. Let me help you. The, the, the Holy Ghost is here to woo you, and that's why it's very important for us to understand his ministry. If, and, and he's drawing us. He draws us with his tender, loving kindness because it is mm -hmm. God's will that none perish but that all come to repentance. So he met that little five-year-old girl that only knew that God created the sun, God created the, the, the heavens, and I knew that. I, it was just a knowing. And so he spoke to me and said, you're going to write a book. Mm. And I held on to that. And so in 2008, after eight years of researching and writing and uh, going through this healing process of what had happened to me and what all, and I'm not going to go through my whole life, but all the other traumas that had taken place in mm -hmm. my life, I realized that I had to, you know, heal from all of this, you know, Reverend Henry. I had to, mm -hmm. I could not, God told me I could not stay like that. And that's right. how the book He's Worthy was born. It took me eight years to write that book because mm -hmm. I was going through the healing process. And then in 2004, Four years before the book was even published, God told me to go back to my parents' house and ask them to forgive me, which was crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. What he does, he, he does the God has done that correct things that need to be corrected. <laughs> right. And, and, you know, that's really hard because you're like, I didn't do anything. Really, God? Yes. But I, I had to do the same thing before, too, so I understand. <laughs> it was totally bizarre, and we had a discussion, to mm -hmm. say it lightly. We, we had mm -hmm. a discussion, like, you want me to do what? But yes. I did obey, and in 2004, I went back and asked them to forgive me. Then in four years later, the book was released. Uh, Coach Crystal, I was, God bless me. I went on a book tour for two years with Barnes & Noble. I was I featured on TBN. Uh, and the in the interview with TBN was so phenomenal because in that interview, um, I met some tremendous people. The power of God came in that in that broadcast so strong. And my husband had we had to travel obviously to the TBN network to do the mm -hmm. live broadcast. And when I was leaving 
the lady called me. She said, I told her, you know, I'm telling this testimony that I'm telling now, but even more in depth. Mm-hmm. And um, said, you were talking to me. She said, I got your book, and you were talking to me. You kept saying, get up, because I was telling her about how I was in such a depression from 13 to 16 when I was, uh, at that point, suicidal. And mm-hmm. she's like, you Hey, get up, get up. And she said, I got up. I got mm-hmm. out of the bed. I've been asleep for, for weeks. I couldn't get out of the bed. And she says, I got up, I got up. I said, mm-hmm. oh, praise And from that point on, the books just started coming. So He's Worthy was released in 2008. And then I released another book, obviously, which you mentioned, the uh, anthology Confident Women Rise, which is based on Isaiah 61, where God says, Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is upon you. And the Amplified says that you are in a prostrated place, you're in an oppressed place, and God is saying, Get up. And so I love the reading, the Amplified version, because it really breaks down to the women that we cannot stay in that uh, oppressed, depressed Mm, place. Yes. That prostrated yeah. place, that circumstances and <clears throat> situations that uh, were out of our control have put us in. You know, the traumas, the abuse, yes. the sexual abuse, the emotional abuse, the mental abuse, the spiritual abuse. Some of us are going to church right now. We're being spiritually abused, and you're thinking this is this is God, and that's not God. And if that if I'm talking to you, He wants you to know that you can't equate to what man is doing to what God is doing. You're going to have to learn. That what God is doing is holy, and what man may be doing is unholy. Mm, mm. Amen. That, Amen. That, that just came out of nowhere, but I, I, I know I'm speaking to someone right now. You're, you're, you're in. You're going through the motions, trying to seek God, and man is giving you a twisted view of who God is, and now you're confusing what man is doing with what who God is. And let me help you. God is holy. And if something is being done that don't match with who he is, because he's holy. He's holy through and through. There's no evil in him. He cannot be tempted with evil. And so if someone is portraying something other than that which is holy, run. (laughs) Amen. Amen. You got to watch Chris, too, because she can't run too fast. (laughs) That That was directly from the Holy Spirit. So whoever that was for, receive it, believe it. Because I'm not even talking about that, but I'm going to flow with it anyway. So back Amen. to the book. But, um, then the um, that's what Confident Women Rise the Anthology is about. So I had 20 women from around the world. It was my first time ever doing an anthology, and God blessed us to get to number one bestseller. Um, then he told me to write another book specifically to help my clients um, with the four key elements of self-care, spiritual, professional, and business development. Leaders Rising the Confident Woman 21-Day Journal. Um, then he told me to write this book now, which will be released literally in two weeks, which is Are You Lit? Leader Intentionally Trailblazing. That book is specifically uh, an anthology of my clients that have literally built their business and brand in only 90 days, Reverend Henry. Only 90 days they built their business and brand. All of these 10 ladies and one gentleman, from a gentleman's perspective, uh, they did the work. They released Christian coaching businesses within the 90-day period, and they also released this book. So, um, yeah, when I say I'm a master business builder, I'm not joking that God has gifted me to do that. And um, these 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 ten businesses have been released. They are, um, I'm just just elated at what God has done. So that's the journey of my books and um, preparing to do another anthology for next year. I'll probably do another anthology next year as well. So, yes, I am a writer, and that was a gift that was given to me and revealed to me at a very early age with starting to speak poetry at five. Amen. I have a, I have a challenge for you, though. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Because I know you said earlier that this thing, you got to want to be coach. You have to want to be, you know, to accomplish something in your life. Because a lot of times, like, I know you have visions. My wife, can you could look at someone and see something in them, but they don't see it themselves. I want you to see where I'm going with this, okay? And the question I want to ask, because there might be somebody listening right now, a listening audience, that said, wow, she sounds so educated. Man. I'll never do that. I'll never be that. I'm, that, that all, I got is a, all I got is a big button. I just want to shake it on social media, and that's it. 
because there's so many people they they can do more than what they're doing the question i want to ask you what need to be done fed convinced or ever to to lead them away or to draw them away and say you are better than that you can do more than that i see something in you for basically what i'm saying we can see things in people that they don't see in themselves and how or what do we do or say to have them turn and open their eyes and see there's more that you can do with your life what would you how would you answer that dr reed well, I will answer that by um, quoting one of the greatest, what well, Jesus Christ called him, the, the greatest prophet to ever live. And um, that is John the Baptist, who was sent as the forerunner for Christ. And his message was so simple, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we need to really unpack and unlock what's inside you with the word repentance. Repentance means that there is a change of mind. I was, my mindset was I can do whatever I want to do, which is a mindset of rebellion and stubbornness and pride. Right. So I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to allow Christ to be Lord, not just Savior. See, we, we're not talking about fire insurance hmm. because you have fire insurance without allowing him to be Lord. Because he's not disjointed and he's not schizophrenic. He's Amen. Jesus Christ. So he's either Lord or Savior of your life, Lord and Savior, and Savior and Lord. Because remember, he's not schizophrenic. He's mm -hmm. not disjointed. You're going to take him for who he is or That's you can right. step aside and be lost. It's just that simple. Amen. Oh, I know it's tight. I know it's tight, but it's right. And I, I come to bring to you because it's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to have, it's John the Baptist said, repent. Yep. What was he saying? He said, change your mind. Change right. your mind about the direction you are going in. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. And we know that Maverick City has this beautiful song out. He's coming. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. You can't get no plainer than that. He's right. coming. And yes. so the message has already been relayed for the last 2,000 years. The question is, are you going to obey the message? That's All right. right. That's the right. question has been asked, re-asked, reiterated over and over for the last 2,000 years, but you're stubborn behind, don't mm -hmm. want to hear it. Mm. Because Jesus Christ said that there is coming a time where people will not want to hear sound doctrine. That's and that right. was said over 2,000 years ago. So the question is not so much what I can do, what Reverend Henry can do, what Crystal Henry can do, what the apostle can do, what the fivefold ministry can do. We can do what we've been doing. The question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to obey? Are you going to yield to the power of God? Because the Holy Ghost is in the earth to seek and save that which is lost. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you're not crazy. You know you lost. You know you lost than a goose in a hen house. Oh. You know. <laughs> Wait a you you said... sit there with your pride <laughs> and your stubbornness going around the same mountain asking the same question when right. John the Baptist told you, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Maverick City is telling you, he's coming. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the question Amen. is, are Amen. you making up in your mind, I'm changing direction? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, and that's, 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 that's key. Just that, 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 is, that is so key because whatever, you, you can't have the same old mindset and try to come into this new, the coaching that you give and the preaching that we give. In the direction that we gave, you have to repent and decide. And decide, I'm going to turn away from that. Is that is absolutely amazing. Now, Doctor Reed, before you, you, you gave so many, so much information in, in such a short time. And after looking at your bio, I'm sure we haven't even 
we just scale on the top of all that you have, all the nuggets that you have shared and diamonds. But before you leave tonight, we're going to give you an opportunity to share your web page, how to get in touch with you, how they can follow you, your podcast, whoever you want to shout out to. We're going to give that opportunity, okay? So I'm going to pass you over to Lady K. She got some more questions there for you. Then we're going to give that opportunity. Yes. You know, I, I can't um, be a miss, you know, and miss out on your magazine because I want our listening audience to not only look for your books, but look for your magazine as well. So tell us a little bit about your magazine um, and just how it started and who's featured in it, because maybe somebody wants to be featured in it. Oh, guess what, Coach Crystal? God mm -hmm. told me, he, co he told me about 10 years ago to start a magazine. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm he put in my heart about 10 years ago about a magazine, and I'm like, how in the world do I do a magazine? What do I do? You know, all of these questions, and, you know, just in my heart, I'm not telling anyone what's mm -hmm. going on. It's just me and him for these 10 years talking about mm -hmm. this. Every, not, not every day. You know, he'll come, and you know how he does. He come and whisper right. something, and we have these uh in the secret place, you have these mm -hmm. secret meetings and these secret conversations that you're not sharing with no one. And it's right. okay to have a secret with him because he says come in the secret place. And, you know, it's just right. you and him. It's an intimate relationship. And so that's why I get so excited because I can keep something in my heart just for me and him. Nobody right. else has to know about it. And then he manifests it. And everybody's like, well, how she did that? All I have to do is mm -hmm. say, girl, let me help you. Too. Let me tell you what happened. And mm -hmm. so, yes, that's how Unlock What's Inside You magazine came about. And then it, it began to really in, uh, intensify, say, about two years ago. It began to, the, the longing to do it just began to intensify. So here again in my board meetings with him and the strategy sessions that I have with him, he began to just uh, – show me how to research and 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 begin to uh say you know send me this part to this person and talk to them and just go through the interviewing process to check my spirit to see if this is the right person and this is the right person and so he actually connected me with uh Dr. Tina Ramsey uh mm -hmm. cuz she had she was my podcast coach okay. and uh, she, yeah, she was my podcast coach and phenomenal. If you want to get your podcast, just run to her. She just that's that's her thing. Uh, mm -hmm. So she was my podcast coach, and you know she shared some things that God was saying in, in her heart what she wanted to do. And I was like, wow. And I'm just listening. And she was sharing about what she wanted, her vision for the magazine, all what she's doing now. She kind of shared a little bit of it with me. Um, and now since it's out in the world, I think I'm safe to say that because at that time two or three years ago it was a private conversation, but it's out now in the world, so I think I'm safe to say that uh, she already had that stuff in her heart. And so the Lord gave me peace to share with her what I wanted to do, and then she began to help me with my magazine. She actually became my magazine publisher. Okay. Um, so yeah, so she became my magazine publisher under um, her media company, and that's how it got started. And so um, Coach... Jean Turner, I think she's been on, on your podcast as well. She's been my cover girl, winner by knockout, which got global attention. It is a global <laughs> magazine. We're in multiple countries, and it's just crazy how God has really just used this magazine. And everyone just relates with that, unlock what's mm -hmm. inside you. Then when they start working with me, because I'm, I'm anointed to unlock what's inside you. I didn't just go. I've been sent, and there's a difference. Let me say that again. I didn't just go. I've been sent mm -hmm. alongside you, and it's a difference. That's that's the anointing on my life. And they say when they start working with me, and it's like it's like an unlocking. I'm talking about things in the articles that I normally wouldn't talk about. I'm seeing things in a different perspective because all of the people in the magazine, they go through uh, the media strategy sessions because when you go to the masses, you need to be prepared to come to the masses. 
it's good to have the visibility, but if you don't have a professional elevator pitch, if you don't know how to handle the media, if you don't know how to handle yourself with the masses, you're speaking to thousands and thousands of people, your visibility is not going to be as credible. It's not going to be as impactful. Uh, people are not going to tune into what you're saying, what you're doing, because you're not coming with your A game. And so that's part of my job. And so we've had a lot of women to come in for the very first time. I also, um, I don't do circles. I use ladders to bring up women from people that don't know them because at mm -hmm. one point people didn't know who I was. So that's my job to bring up other women that are gifted and talented and God wants yes. to expose use. That's I don't do circles. I do ladders. And so that's part of my job. And then we've had people that are very well known, such as Coach Jean and uh, uh, other other women that mm -hmm. have been in the um, that have been on other magazines, but they yeah. still like and resonate with Unlock What's Inside You magazine. And so it's been a, a, a phenomenon because it is a global magazine. And like I said, the, the caption, Confident Women Rise, and that is specifically for marketplace ministry and mm -hmm. really – place for people to be featured as you're profiting by faith. That concept is very unique, how God gave it to me, uh, where we're specifically highlighting and featuring kingdompreneurs. We're constantly uh, featuring confident women on the rise in marketplace ministry as, comp as kingdompreneurs while profiting mm -hmm. by faith, letting you know that you can uh, bankroll the kingdom. You can get in position to start bankrolling the kingdom, and you don't have to stay where you are just because you are a confident Christian woman coach. God has called us to bankroll the king kingdom, like my mentor, Dr. Sidney Trim, says. That means that I'm supposed to be able to give to Samaritan Purse and give to when the hurricanes come and give to other things. You know, it shouldn't just be all about me and me and mine, I'm supposed to be in the position to help the kingdom and help the kingdom advance financially. And so I really love the fact that we're doing that in the magazine. And, of course, if anyone would like to be in the magazine, you can visit my website. And this is where you can find me at www.doreen. Let some read. I'm on all social media platforms as Doreen. Let some read. And so I'm Google, <laughs> as you would say. And so that's yes, it is. Me. I use it all the time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, and of course, I still use telephone. If you want to give me a call, and I'm on WhatsApp app as well, eight four three nine one zero three nine two seven. I love just connecting with people and having a real conversation to see where you are because it's time to unlock what's inside you to advance God's kingdom in all things business. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for this opportunity to be on the podcast and all the listeners listening. Thank you, Reverend Henry, and thank you, Coach Crystal. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate we are, we are honored. You. We are honored, and we, are, we thank God for you. We thank God for your input. I'm sitting here, and I'm just trying to ask if I could get a pen and paper taken on the stuff that that you have, have, have given and you have shared. You know, I just want to let you know that you can add us to your fan page. You got two oh, new we, fans. We, but Chris, always, Chris mm -hmm. she always been a fan. This is my first time hearing you, yes. and I just love it. You speak with so much power, yes. so much um, authority. authority and confidence, you know, and I love your and confidence. Knowledge. Like I said, mm -hmm. if I was around and listening to you, your confidence would draw me to where, wow, I cannot talk and be as confident as 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 you are so i just want to thank god for you and like i said you jerry jerry ross as usual and lady k because this was your guest mm -hmm. yeah amen mm -hmm. yeah. once again i've lift power lift up with another great amazing guest i pray that our our listening audience realize that they got some serious nuggets and diamonds yes, for free. For free, yes. She, <laughs> she gave a whole master class yes, during she our did. time. Yes, thank she you, did. Dr. Reed, because you gave some good good information for free. Inspiration, motivation. So thank yes. you so much for being a blessing to us and be a blessing to our listening audience. And for those that will even listen to the replay. Yes. Yeah, listen to the replay. We want to thank you for that. Also now, Dr. Reed, can I ask you this question now? Yes, sir. Okay, what's the plan? Last question for the night. What's the plan for the upcoming future? 
What do you have um, in the in the making? What is God giving what's you? What's next? What's next? Oh, absolutely. So those ten businesses that have been released through my signature coaching program, All Things Business Builder, we will be continuing to work together next year. Uh, many of them. Um, I will still be supporting them and creating their platforms and their events as we are co-creating uh, to continue to do to get their visibility out. Uh, many of them have asked me to come and be a speaker on their platforms, and so I, I really um, am excited about that. We're already looking at dates for next year. Also, Amen. I have a, a prayer call called Daughters of Royalty in um, inspirational moment, and your wife was one of our special guests where she came in and yeah. prayed for women, and it's growing. We have women from around the world coming in on the prayer call every Friday at 6 o'clock a.m. to 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And God laid that on my heart because I noticed in my own life, I knew there was, I was, it was some things going on, and I felt like I was getting a little bit too like a, it was like a dark cloud trying to come in, and I couldn't allow that. So instead of sitting there not doing anything, I was like, you know, God caused me to rise up, and he said, you help other people, and then you'll start feeling better. And sure enough, <laughs> I started helping other people, and now I feel a lot better because it's so needful for women to have a space to come and pray. So next year we're going to have a prayer gathering, okay. Reverend um uh, Henry, we're going to have a New Year's prayer gathering um, for on the prayer call. I am wanting to do it in person, but if that doesn't work out, we're just going to keep it moving. God told me to run through troops and leap over walls, so this is what mm -hmm. we do. We adjust, we modify when things don't go our way or things don't go the way we think they should go. There's always more than one way to skin a cat, and so whether or not we do it in person or not, they can still do the prayer call. We'll be there. Um, I have the dates. I'm going to have to give them to Coach Crystal because she's going to come and speak, but she didn't know that until I just asked her. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will lift exclusive. Talk about speakers. And she, yeah, that was just, uh, I do those things like that. But anyway, I get her the dates, but it's going to be that first week, uh, that's first Saturday, so we have it every January, um, you know, every Friday, but it's going to be a special day where we have the gathering specifically to pray us in for the new year so we can start off the new year right with uh, our soul being right, our mind being right, our families being right, and the only way you can do that is through the presence of God, so we're going to focus on that, and I will most definitely get Coach Crystal that um Information once God releases yes. me to do so, because she's going to come and help us preach. And yeah, we're going to preach the word. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm a preacher too. I'm, I'm not just a coach because my business is my ministry, and my ministry is my business, and I don't apologize for that. So when you come to me, Amen. you will get the ghost. Okay, you're yeah. not just going to get Dr. Doreen. Who cares about Dr. Doreen? My job is to point you to the one that's going to truly transform you, and that yeah. is the Holy Ghost. Okay, and yes, yeah. I do. Do I know about business? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'll sit here and talk to you about business all day, but that's not the point. The point is the true transformation in our spiritual life and in our businesses comes from the Holy Spirit. And so you ask me what are the plans for coming up this this year, that is the plan, to really kick off the year with prayer. Um, yes. And have women. Um, Coach Chris, I want women from around the world to come through Zoom and the prayer call. Um, yes. And then if it in person, then that will just magnify everything even the more. But I'm mm -hmm. not going to wait on – I don't wait on people to call me to do stuff. I, mm -hmm. God tells mm -hmm. me to go. He tells me to go. I'm going to go. Like I said, I didn't just go. I've been sent. So if he sends me, I'm going to show up. That's my job. Amen. So Amen. Um, those Amen. things coming up, Reverend uh, Reverend, <laughs> Reverend, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> I start yeah. talking about prayer. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it is exciting. Amen. 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 Well, well, um, Dr. Reed, we thank you so much. The, the end of the night is yes, coming to a close. Yes. And I don't know what you're doing next Thursday. But next Thursday at 8 p.m. Central. 9 p.m. Eastern. Same bat time. Same bat channel. With the same bat man. Jerry Royce. Join us for Power Lift right here 
make this a part of your night. We want to thank our great, amazing, just informative guests on tonight yes. with some just great nuggets. We want to thank our listening audience. We want to shout out to Jerry Ross one more time and a Positive Power 21 family and say we love you, we thank you, and with God's grace and mercy, we will see you again next Thursday. Y'all be blessed and have a great night. Good night. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Power lift, living in faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up, power to set you free. We need a power lift, the truth will set you free. Living in faithful truth, receive the word you need. Power of the gospel ministries, preach the word indeed. We here to help each other, witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry, let your praise out. Now let the truth of in you, release that holy shout. You are listening to Joe Sly Worldwide Podcast.